guys, it's Ariel here from Fix My Box to help you fix your box. Hi guys, so today we will be learning about payroll and tax remittance. So setting up payroll, adding an employee, running payroll, and remitting payroll source deductions to the CRA. And let's get started. So we're gonna go to payroll, set up payroll. So all we want to do is payroll report and then free one month trial. How often do you run payroll? Let's do semi-monthly, so that's twice a month, 15th and 30th. And then let's click free one month trial, turn on payroll. Okay, so this is our employee, Andy Dwyer. His birth date is on January 1, 1990. His SIN number is nine zeros. And he has finished his TD1 Fed and his TD1 Ontario. So there are two types of TD1s. There's federal TD1 and there's also an Ontario TD1. So we're just going to click add an employee. Yes, I have completed the TD1 forms. First name is Andy, last name is Dwyer. Hire date, let's say we hired him on August 1st. His email, Andy Dwyer at gmail.com. And then enter the TD1 form. Date of birth will be January 1. 1990 employee number it's not really needed social insurance number as I said nine zero so one two three four five six seven eight nine home address would be one two three hello Lane Toronto all right just make sure that the TD one here you copy the information that your employee gave you and so these are just the standard amounts so Andy pays both so don't check anything and then just click done that's set up how often do we pay Andy so our pay schedule for Andy is semi-monthly which is twice a month so the next pay date is Okay, it's on August 14th. The last pay period is 12. Let's do it on the 15th, and then the last day of work is also on the 15th. So it's from the 15 and 30. So that makes it easier. So we'll call it semi monthly. Use the schedule for employees. Click done. How much do we pay Andy? So we pay Andy $16 an hour. And the vacation policy of Andy is pay out each period 4%. So he doesn't accrue vacation days except um, he doesn't accrue vacation days, but we do pay out an extra 4% every pay period. Um, no, he does not have any other deductions and we will pay Andy by checks. So we'll just click done. And that's it. You set up an employee. Hey guys, I hope you liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe so you can tune in to the next videos in our tutorial series here on YouTube. And once again, this is Ariel from Fix My Books and I'm here to help you fix your books.